I'm Gene Grant here in the studios of New Mexico PBS with our Line Opinion panelists. We're getting ready to talk about some of the top news stories of this week, but before we start, we're warming up with what we call an off-the-cuff question for our panelists. And we have an intern here at New Mexico PBS, Max Bodie, a good, great intern as a matter of fact. He's a senior at Amy Beale High School, and Max is looking into doing a segment, guys, on what it takes for high school seniors to roll into the freshman year of college, which is a big stumbling point for a lot of young people out there. And I'm just curious, and I'll start with you, with you, Janice, what advice would you give an incoming freshman coming into college, thinking back to your own experiences, that everything is just different once you get through the door? Do you know what I mean? You can never really fully anticipate. What would you tell a high school Absolutely. senior? Absolutely. Um, I would ask if they really want to study, are they there to party? Now, uh, I might have been in the later, but I figured out that you had to study. Right. Uh, and watching my own children, um, I think I would say, you need to make that decision. Uh, are you pursuing an education? Or are you right. there to party? Right. That's an, can I stay with you for one more question sure. on that? That's, I'm fascinated by that. Because it's easy to fall into the trap. Freshman year, you know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. But your suggestion is having that clear thought going in the door. That's that's the trick of it. Right. Uh, okay. You know, because as a freshman, there there are a lot of things that befall you. One is, is does your alarm clock work? <laughs> and and can you get to class on time? Yes. Some very basic things. Right. Um, and then the social aspect may creep up on them in a way that they didn't expect. That's right. Good point. I like that point. Good point. Dan, what would you tell a high school senior to get ready for for freshman year of college? Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing is to actually be present and go to class. Um, <laughs> the, so much about right. this group is coming out already. Um, <laughs> I, th I think that uh, you know, it's a whole new experience when you don't, no one else is making you get up in the morning. Um, right. So if you need to take classes in the early afternoon or in the late morning or whatever, I think that um, my biggest regret is that I would sometimes just just skip a few classes, and then you skip one, and you think, oh, I could, right. I, I, you know, I've already been twice this week. I don't have to go to the Friday class. Um, <laughs> I think the most important thing is to just show up, and uh, and everything will be okay. There you go. It's the secret of life to show up, right? Show you get up. half, Good half. Point. Andy, what do you think? What's what's the best advice you can give? I up? agree with Dan that showing up. You know, I think a lot of times you show people show up, and uh, for their for not show up to class, show up to college, and they. They don't realize really how no one's watching you. No one's paying attention to whether you're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. I would also add to to be flexible and and be willing to change. You know, I think that's also a trap you get into. You go into it for uh -huh. a degree your freshman year, and you're so stuck on that that uh, you just you feel like it can't change, and you get frustrated. Just you know, kind of experience it. And now, were you straight through in your college uh, courses? Were, no. Did you know? Okay. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. You, no. made you made changed it changed a lot. Yeah. 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 I tell my daughters the same thing. My, my oldest is graduating from UNM in May, the next month, as a matter of fact. And I think back to those conversations, like, don't panic. Mm -hmm. If you get to the end of freshman year and it turns out your desired thing is not quite, you know, life mm -hmm. is funny that way. Sophie, what do you think? What's, what's your best advice? Um, so I, I will say that I grew up in New York, and mm -hmm. um, as I was heading off to college, somebody gave me some, some I think, really important advice, which was never date a guy from New Jersey. <laughs> that, that helped me through my four years uh, of undergrad. But, but, but more importantly, I will say this. In high school, it is not inappropriate for your parents to be engaged and involved in what's going on in your classroom. Mm -hmm. In college, that ends. Mm -hmm. So your parents should not be calling and talking to your professors about why you did or did not get a certain grade. They should not be talking to your professors about expectations um, and results. That's on you now. So, so expect as you go in that you're going to need to have grown-up conversations with the faculty about expectations. You need to be ready to ask questions, and you need to understand that when you get a poor grade, um, it's not a reason to call in mom or dad. It is instead a reason. Uh, instead, you should look at that as important feedback from the faculty about mm -hmm. how you're performing compared to the other people in your class. Go ask questions, figure out how you can do better, and then move on from there. Mm -hmm. But it is a new environment, and mom and dad should not be coming to class with that you. That happens. That happens. Thank you, guys. Good stuff.